This weekend, I was fortunate to have my good buddy Andy from Lighten Up and Shoot in, and we did a ton of photo shoots all weekend long. Now it was time to organize all those photos that we did and have, it a, way, have a way for the client to be able to look at the images when they get home, select which of the images they, uh, they see are their absolute favorite that they want us to edit, and then pick from those edits. And in this case, we allow them to download the images and let them use them for whatever they need. So inside Lightroom, under the publishing services, I set up a Smug Mug account. Now, if you don't know how to set up the services yet, please refer back to one of our other videos on how to actually create the service or the published service inside Lightroom. Now inside my published service, I have a folder called models. And the only thing I put in there are the models that we've shot. Right mouse click on models. From here, I want to create a category, not a gallery yet. Click on a category. Now I'm going to type the model's name. In this case, in this case it was Allie. Now I already have it here, so I'm just going to cancel out of it. Make sure that it's under set. The set is under models. What that's doing is creating a gallery collection, so to speak, under that model's name. Now what I want to do is create the actual uh, gallery itself. So the category is similar to Lightroom's collection. And then underneath it, what you want to do is take all of your images and put them under that specific folder. So let's create a gallery. And notice the set is going to be called the name of the model, in this case, Alley. You can give it any name you want right up in here. Me personally, I like to have or separate the images out. Um, so I like to use the model's last name. And then these are going to be selections. So select. And then whatever date I shot um, the shoot on, I put that in. 2011, 05. Now, in this case, it's going to tell me that the file's already in use, or the, the folder name's already in use, because I already created it. But let me just do this there. So we have the information up here. It's going to be under her name. Under the quick editing, what I do want to do is go down to the advanced settings. And I want to display the file name, so this way she'll have the file names that she's going to send me. Not like the number I... 210 or 211 or so on, she'll actually have the file name that I've created and then inside Lightroom I can easily do a search on those images. So I personally like doing select the file name, I leave the sort to none and the style is already controlled by what I already have on Smugbug. Now under security and privacy from here I give it a password, try to come up with a, a unique password scheme that you can give them. So it's a scheme that you'll also remember. If you let the model or the client select their own password, the odds of you remembering it are very slim. So from here, you give it a password. If you have to, give yourself a hint. You know, it could be model's last name or model's parent's name or uh, my favorite dog. Whatever it is, it'll give you your hint. One other thing I like to do is under the select images, I always enable right mouse click protection, which means they can't copy those. The reason for that is I just want them to select which ones they feel are their favorites, and then I'll do the edit, and then for the edits, those they can select and do whatever they want with. But I really don't like having my unpublished or my unedited images out of the net. Now, Lightroom does a great job on watermarks, and I have to be honest, I was kind of against watermarks for the longest time. Again, my buddy Andy is one who kind of rearranged my thinking on that. So I do start, at, I am starting to add watermarks to all my images. In Lightroom, we can add a watermark and export it, and that's great. But you can't export the watermark from Lightroom onto SmugMug. So SmugMug has their own watermark system. So if you click on watermark, and then from here you can select the default or whatever ones you have set up for uh, your website, you select it there. The neat thing about SmugMug's watermark is if the client wants to print from your site, when they print, you know, they set it off to, let's say, Bay Photos, the watermark is automatically removed. If they decide to download the image, then the watermark stays on. 
Then we just uh, select OK. I'm going to cancel out of all this for now. And here she is. So you can see, if I were to hit OK in that last step, this is the, the, the galleries that we have. Once I have it, all I need to do is go back up to the collections that I've had, and let's say the final, and just drag and drop into my folder here. Once I do, I click on Publish, right mouse click, Publish, and then it goes up to the site. Now, before I show you what it looks like onto the website, let, let's go back for a moment to my collections. Let's say we, we did all everything we just did, and in this case here, let's say I, I make a slight change to this image. Uh, let's see. Let's put... Um, I know, a post and adding area. There, I just did just a slight little change to the image. Now, this is the part I really love about what Smug Mug has done with this. Now, when I go back to my um, final image over here, notice it says modified photos to republish. So, the neat thing about that is any changes I decided to make on an image that I've already published will give me a chance to republish it. So I'm going to click on Publish, give it a few seconds for it to do its thing, and while it's doing that, let's go over to the website, and I'm going to click on Galleries, Models. Once that comes up, since it was a new, a new um, collection or a new folder that I just created, it takes it and puts it to the bottom of the category of your um, website. What I want to do is move that, and let's go back, move that back up to where I have mine alphabetized. So, arrange. I'm going to click on the one we just did. And I'm going to move it up, and I want it right there. Click save. Good. Now when I click on it, and here, since we've already done this before, here, let me back up for a second to show you something. Um, we'll use this one. Notice it says protected gallery and there's no image being displayed. That's because we didn't select a feature image with that particular uh, gallery. So in this case, I already did. But let, let's click on the uh, select. Under select, if we look through, let's say, this image here. If I like this image and I want that to be the, the folder's icon or the folder's main image, that's the first one they see when they're browsing the site, I can run over to the tools and under this folder, more, make that the featured. Now I'm going to back out and if you notice, now that right there is going to be the, the folder's icon. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to click on Visitor's View. By the way, if you're not logged in to your SmugMug account, what you're going to see is this right here. Notice I can't do any of the changes or any of the edits because, again, this is what the, um, the people are going to view. It's not, not what you're going to view. If you want to see what it's going to look like for you, click on Owner, and then you have all your edits. You can do whatever you want. So, again, let's just go back to Visitor's View. So... Natalie comes to the website, she clicks on her image here, and now it's going to ask her for the password that we just came up with. She punches it in, and then she's on to her selections. From here, the numbers are on the bottom, so she's clicking in some stuff. These are some candid shots we did while, the, while they were waiting on the other shoot. Under here, she selects that image, that folder number, or excuse me, the file name, and then she'll send me that file name, and I'll know that those are the ones she wants me to edit. Once she edits them, or sends them to me, I edit them, now I put them into the finals folder. And here we are here. If I want this image, once again, to be the main image, let's get out of owner's view, go to tools, more, and Click, make that the featured image. So once I back out, 
Now that's the featured image. Again, it changes it. So there's a real quick way on how to use Lightroom and SmugMug together. Once you start to organize it and get the feel of how you want your website to be laid out, any changes you make are going to be a real breeze.